this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about the Stello Replicator, including different key concepts, how to configure and manage your installation, as well as tune it for your particular replication needs. At the end of this, you will be able to navigate the Stello user interface with ease and feel confident about managing your data replication regardless of the replication use case. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Here are the different key concepts to Stello replication. A subscription is an object in our replicator that defines data being replicated from a source to a destination database. Each subscription can be configured to perform different types of operations. The main three include full mirrors, in which we do an initial copy and then maintain a synchronized image afterwards. We can do snapshots in which we bring in the data from the source to the destination once. Or we can configure the subscriptions to do change data only replication, in which we only replicate change data. Before you configure replication, you will have to configure a source and a destination. This is where you can add a source. And a source is the database server, which includes the database of interest that you want to replicate from. Note that Stello uses standard connectors to establish access to the source database off of ODBC and JDBC connectivity. Moving on to destinations. Destinations are where your replicated data goes to. This can either be a traditional relational database or a data consumer such as Kafka. You can also replicate to destinations such as Databricks, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake using our proprietary connectors. Let's move on over to groups. So groups are a collection of subscriptions in which they share a source and a destination. However, not only do they share a source and a destination, but they provide granular control over how replication is performed for the subscriptions under that particular group. So as an example here, we have a group in which we replicating data from iSeries to SQL Server. You can see the list of different subscriptions under this particular group. And you can also look at the different properties of this particular incremental group. So far, we've been talking about replicating data from the source to the destination. Our Stellar Replicator supports also data structure changes. So if you have changes to a particular table, on one source database, you can replicate that over to the destination database based off of the settings that you see here in the incremental group. Note that these settings can be set at the service level as well. Now, out of the box, Stello is designed to provide robust near real-time replication. However, since every use case and environment is different, you can customize Stello for your particular replication needs. You can go into service settings here and customize any and each of these parameters based off of how you want replication to perform for you. After configuring replication, you can view the different events that have occurred in logs. Logs track subscription status system events and any errors so that you can troubleshoot these quickly and maintain a healthy environment. You can also adjust the details of the message that you get in logs and configure email notifications and OAuth so that you can keep up to date on replication events that are important to you. Now you are ready to configure, monitor, and control your data pipelines. Stello supports more than 30 sources and destinations so please follow the links for specific quick start guides. Stello's streamlined design means that no specialized database knowledge is required. Get started today.